What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. It's your boy Nary Chase and in this video we're going to be talking about uh, a continuation of the Fallout 5 wishlist series and in this one episode 20 we're going to be focused on weapon and ammo customization as well as repair. Um, <clears throat> uh, come on, weapon customization is awesome in any capacity. New Vegas gave us the ability to, to not only craft weapons with the use of the workbench but also giving us the ability to recycle uh, residual expended flame and energy ammunition into fresh ammunition and the conversion of energy ammunition into other types of energy ammunition with the use of reloading bench, which I have yet to master, but I figured out. Uh, they need to bring back the weapon repair kit, which repairs the condition of your weapon based on your repair skill level. Um, Fallout 4 allow players to modify their weapons. Weapon mods can be built from raw materials and attached to weapons at weapon we, weapons workbenches, generally including sight, barrels, stocks, receivers, magazines, and more. I think this is a very good concept in any capacity of a Fallout game. Um, first, let's talk about the ammo. I think crafting ammo would make a lot of sense because it gives variation to the weapon uh, to the, to your weaponry. Um, and it also adds to the strategy. So if you're fighting ghouls, and you can say fire is highly effective to them, put in flame rounds uh, for uh, for certain weapons, which you can actually get those, as well as like cryogenic rounds or something like that. I think we should bring that back because I, that was one of my things about New Vegas, like armor piercing rounds, hollow shells, like things like that, uh, I think are, uh, are, are awesome. It also it adds so much to the uh, complexity of learning how to utilize weapons, and also would do a great job of bringing back breaking down uh, weaponry to create new weaponry and bullets. Break um, uh, also like with like you know loot and trash and stuff like that. Same thing if you can take a whole shit ton of cans to create more bullets or something like that break them down to make more ammo that would definitely be a good and interesting idea weaponry too now my thing with weaponry customization I, like fallout 4 was banging with the customization on the weapon so i have no problems with that um but i think i could also see some new vegas weapon customization too because they had like pieces that you could attach to the uh, weapon to actually modify sight, uh, the accuracy sight, you know, firepower. So I'm, I'm, I'm either, either they go with the New Vegas mods or the Fallout 4 mods. I'm okay with either one of them. Is um, now weapon repair. I don't mind having weapon repair in because I think it does, fortunately, be a bit more strategic. But I don't want it. Hey guy. I don't want weapon repair to be like it used to be in Fallout 4 in New Vegas where you just took the same weapon and you put them together. No. I want it to be, you you use like loot and stuff that you find. Like you break down, and this is what I'm saying, like break down your items. If you get like, I don't know, a vacuum cleaner, you can strip your vacuum cleaner down for certain parts and use those parts to help because that would help stop all this stacking up, rack, uh, racking up of weapons and stuff, and also give loot, uh, trash and stuff like that more of an importance um, than just, you know, settlement building or selling or something like that. So I don't mind the weapon, uh, weapon uh, ammo customization repair. I think that's actually a pretty good idea. As well as spent shells, you can recycle those. I think that's actually a really good idea too. But in the comment section below, guys, let me know what are your thoughts about, you know, being able to customize and repair weapons and ammo as well as recycle ammo. You think it's a good idea. You, uh, you agree with any of my points on it. Be sure to uh, hit that like, share, subscribe, and that notification button to get the best of what's going on on this channel, guys. And we'll definitely catch you guys later to the next video.